Hi friends, my name is Kishore and in this tutorial video today we'll be seeing how to work with the dynamic data masking product for SQL Server. So uh, to start with, uh, in this presentation today we'll be seeing the installation of the dynamic data masking product and working with the management console which is a front end for the DDM product and also the configuration of the DDM connection for the SQL Server and finally we'll be seeing how to mask a table via the SQL Server. So we'll proceed with the first part that's the installation of the DDM. Yes, so we have the installer. We'll proceed with the installation on Windows. So the installer has started. Yes. So what the product basically does is it masks the contents of the SQL query output that you see on any of your database clients without actually changing the values in the DB level. So this could be useful in cases when you don't want the contents to be changed in the actual database level. Instead, it just needs to get masked for specific users. So this is what the product basically does. And in this video today, we'll be seeing how to mask the SQL Server contents. Uh, it's to be noted that the product not only supports SQL Server, it's supported for all other databases like DB2, Oracle, etc. And um, yes, the installer has started. And it's also supported on various platforms. Uh, to speak about the installer, uh, well, there are two options in installing that you'll see. Yes, the installer has started. Yes, next. And what do you want me to install? There are two options. One is the dynamic data masking server or the management console. The management console is the front end for the product and uh, it's just supported on Windows as now and uh, the server can be installed on Unix or Windows or any other boxes and uh, you can access it via the management console of course and in this box it's a fresh installation and uh, we'll proceed with the first two. That's the first option to install the server and the console. Continue and I'll just make a change here. Mm. So we are currently installing the latest version that is 9.5.1, so 9.5.1, next, key file, yes we got it, desktop, yeah we have the key, so the installer has started, um, yes it's asking for the configuration so the server name uh, it's just its name of the DVM server and uh, the port number it's 8195 which is the default port you can have it changed in case uh, you want to make changes to this uh, port on which the server starts and the password let me just set the password yeah the installer install So it's to be noted that when you install it for the first time, you need not specifically start your server. So the server is started automatically once you complete the installer. And in case you want to shut down the server or start the server, there's an option in the location where you install it. Uh, there's a file server.bat present in the DDM home directory and uh, you can just give the parameter start or stop and there's even a parameter restart that permits you to restart the server. So uh, start and stop will be needed only in cases like you want to shut down the server temporarily and also like in cases like when the port is already under use you want to make a change or in the configuration you want to have changes and you go for stopping the server. And in this tutorial video today what we'll do is uh, first uh, we, have, we are about to complete the installation part. So the next part is uh, working with the management console. Uh, I'll show you how to connect to the DDM server via this management console component. Yeah, we have completed with the installation. Yes. So, so the first part of the tutorial video is complete. Now the next part is working with the management console. Now you can access the management console via the dynamic data masking at management console. You want me to run it? Yes. Um, So we have the management console and uh, the port is 8195, username, password, let's see if it connects. Yes, now we have connected to the DDM server. So in this tutorial video today, we'll be seeing how to mask the contents of the... So in this connection, first we'll see uh, the native connection to SQL Server, how it appears. So I already have a connection set up and uh, the simple, it's a simple tutorial that we are going to see. So. Uh, yeah, prior to this, let me just give you an overview of the management console. On this left tab that you have, uh, you can set up your, you can configure your rules, uh, the masking rules, along with the database servers, 
and also the DDM services for the databases that you wish to set up. So uh, the first part you see here, right? If you right click here, there are options to add a domain. It's again a separate domain for your DDM server, a database, say it's a SQL Server DB2 or Oracle database, and also the editing options, of course. And here you have the option when you right click your domain, you have the option to add the DDM services. So this part you will see all in this part, the left tab, you will see the services, databases, rules, etc. And to configure all these rules is in your right tab. So we'll begin with masking the SQL Server is what. So the overview of management console part is currently the simple one and it's complete. So we'll proceed to the SQL Server part. So we have completed this part, installation, working with management console. We proceed with configuration of the DDM connections for the SQL Server. For the SQL Server part, I already have a connection set up and uh, let me just show it to you. So we have a create table, prior that let me just uh, execute these. No, these are already executed. So we have a create table employees with employee number and employee name as the columns and I have inserted three rows employee number one, two, three, Ram, Hari and Ganesh and select star from employees again. Yeah, you see this output. Yes, so this is actually the native connection. I can show you the properties. So currently it's my host, uh, different uh, parameters, the port and the details. And uh, this is actually my native uh, connection. Yeah, it's a successful one. So what we'll do next is uh, how to work with uh, the SQL Server in DDM. So the first part here is to add your DDM services for SQL Server. Add DDM services, SQL Server, okay. So you have it already started when you start the service. So this is the option to stop that you can see. So the next part is we'll add a database. Add database, SQL Server. DDM database name and again give it a support the database server address so the actual address where my database resides so I'll take it from these properties again so port 1433 and uh, the DDM port that is a port via which I'll configure my client to connect to the DDM. We'll just put it as one, two, three, four, five. And rule set. Actually, uh, we haven't configured any rule sets till now. So I'll just give a rule set name, a sample name, say rule one. And we'll create a rule with the name rule one so that this rule gets applied for this particular connection. And uh, the username and password, of course, we have it here. Yeah, so let's just test this connection. Validated. Okay. So we have the connection already set up. So I haven't defined any rule, but still, uh, yeah, I'll just set up one rule that does not do anything. Basically, it's just another connection to the database. Add rule set. My rule set name is rule one. Okay security rule set and we can add a new rule append rule and I'll put my rule in this rule 1 as rule A the rule set is a set of rules of course description a dummy rule matching method say any query that's coming out of any client will be tracked here that's connecting through 1433 of course and then action type do nothing and log rule will apply when it will help you log the rules uh, in the log files. It will be present in your gs slash log file for SQL Server in your DDM home of course. So and uh, let me just update the rules. So the next part here is uh, in the SQL Server I'll set up a new connection. That's connecting to my SQL Server. Set up a new connection. Connection name DDM underscore SQL underscore server and uh, username and password and uh, SQL Server details and here it's one, two, three, four, five. Test it. So 
success connect now this part we are currently connecting to the SQL server we are the DDM server so I'll just execute the select star from employees query now yeah Ram Hari Ganesh you have it and another possible place where you can get confused is the host name so during installation we had the DDM server host set up and that's again 127.0.0.1 local host will again route to your original host so it should not be an issue like in, since this is my local box I configured the DDM host as a local host itself so and this particular port 12345 whatever we configured for the database in the DDM database properties so that's it and um, the third part of the tutorial is again complete now so we have completed configuring a DDM connection for SQL Server the next part is how to mask a table in the SQL Server so what we'll do is we already have the employees table and we'll just pass the name column in the employees table so you have my DDM server here the rules yeah we'll just modify this rule edit mask employees dot ename any match mask you actually have a lot of matches java matcher the plsql function to do the matching from uh, plum clause text wherein you can give the regex or wild cards so and so and time of the day during a particular period of the day you want this uh, values to be masked or like matched and you can perform any action on this particular matcher that is it can be a match mask a folder action a block statement you can show a symbol like you can show a screen telling that the statement is blocked or you can rewrite the SQL query of course search and replace a Java action extra so here we are going with the mask and the table name employees dot column name ename and uh, the masking function it's sub str uh, it's a sub string for the SQL server the function name substr is for oracle and slash column will here in turn replace the enames dot ename as the first column and uh, taking the first two characters so that's what we have yes okay update rules the rules should be updated by now just need to reconnect disconnect okay yes you have the query output here what happened was we configured DDM to mask the employee name and here we see that just the first two letters of the employee that's the substring part that we give in the queries has come out as the output so I believe we are done with the tutorial uh, all four components so in this brief to, uh, to give a briefing in this tutorial we saw how to install the DDM server of course and working with the management console configuring a connection for the SQL server and finally we mask the employee name in the employee table uh, via the DDM so I believe that's the end of this video and uh, always you're always welcome to give a feedback on this to uh, the sites and email ID shown below and uh, that would be thank you very much